Hey, what's up? I'm Nico, and today I wanted to make a video about this device here. This is called a guitar wing. So this thing attaches itself to the side of the guitar, and it's basically a mini controller. It's a series of buttons and sliders that tell your computer to do stuff. So you can map it to pretty much anything. And if you're, you know, distorting your guitar through your computer, then you could map these instructions to pretty much anything about your guitar sound, or even other things too. I mean, you can control lights or you know, a loop or turn on or off the recording of your guitar or whatever you want. Um, another cool thing it has is it has a built-in accelerometer just like a smartphone would. So when you tilt your guitar in different axes, it also picks up on that. And I find that especially interesting because you, you're probably moving your guitar subconsciously, you know, following what you want to express with your music anyway. So you find, you know, clever ways to map that to you know, different parameters in your music, that could actually enhance your sound in interesting ways. Um, so, using, you know, regular tools like, you know, Ableton Live and other software, it's actually fairly easy to map these things to different parameters in a straightforward way. Um, I've actually been playing with mapping, you know, things in a more complicated way too, so I'll, I'll show you a few of the things I've been working on, which are even more fun than that. So, let's check it out. So I just attached the device to the guitar. It just holds on by pressure, but it really holds on quite firmly. Like I've never had any problems with it slipping off or even scraping the guitar or anything else. Um, if you turn it on, you can see the lights make it look a bit like Tron-ish, which I'm not that happy about. It definitely doesn't go with this guitar, but whatever, it's a lot of fun anyway. Um, so you can turn effects on and off. Let's do some ambient guitar first. So now I'm controlling the volume with the guitar's position. position, notice that as I tilt it, different drum patterns sound. They're a bit lame, but they get the point across. So the higher I tilt the guitar, the more intense the drum is. This could work, work well with a solo, like while you're approaching a climax, the drum matches that intensity. So let's play with that.
So I found a few other ways to use the guitar wing, but I think that's enough for today. I'm planning to make a few other videos that have to do with music and technology and how to use different hardware and software and what I think about making music in general through these mediums. So if you're interested in that at all, um, please hit the subscribe button below and I'll see you next time. Thanks.